The purpose of this video is to help you get up and running with the Creative Cloud. If this semester, and I repeat, this semester you have already downloaded the Creative Cloud and you have Photoshop and Illustrator uh, up and running and, and whatever else you may need from the Creative Cloud, then you don't have to watch this video. But if you did it last semester and it's still working for you, you still need to repeat these steps to get the Creative Cloud because otherwise it will stop working for you. The licensing through the college is only good for one semester. So let's talk about some of the key things. Um, first of all, the college has an arrangement with Adobe where they're able to give you the Creative Cloud for free. So that's a huge deal, um, but you have to follow the instructions very specifically or it's not going to work for you. So first of all, you're going to or you should have already received an email from the college with instructions on how to set up the Creative Cloud. This is going to go to your college email. So if you're just checking your personal email, it's not going to happen for you. You got to go in and check the college email. Now I'm going to open up the link that will be in this email uh, because if you didn't get it and you uh, contacted student services, they'd probably send you the, the instructions on how to first check your email if they indeed verified that you're part of the program, which you should be if you're in the class. But step number one, got to check your email. So here's the steps if you need to pause this and read it. Okay, now if you checked your student email and you have not received an email from the college uh, alerting you that you can get the Creative Cloud, then you have to go through the provider of the Creative Cloud, which is not Adobe, it's a third party provider. So what you would do here is call the provider, which is collegebuys.org. This is their 800 number right here, and also uh, the website. Now I'm not gonna read through the whole instruction guide with you, but another thing that is a frequent error that students make is you need to select personal account when you sign up per step five of the guide. I think some people just get it in their head that, oh, this is through an institution, so I should be checking, you know, that it's for an institution. But no, it is an, a personal account that the college helps you get. And then if you have any problems installing the software, contact Student Help and they'll be able to walk you through the rest of it. Um, now, note this video that you're watching is on the home page. It'll be just under the getting started video and these links and everything will be there as well. Um, now I just want to look at my notes because there's a couple other things that sometimes students get confused about with the creative cloud. Um, okay, we'll just read this because I've already gone through these so far, um, but it's important for you to understand the difference between installing the creative cloud and having a license to use the Creative Cloud for this semester. So anyone can install the Creative Cloud. They can go to Adobe's website and install the Creative Cloud. And they can even use it for a week for free. But as soon as that week is up, then boom, you're without the program. Now that's a nice thing to know because if you're having problems getting your email, don't delay you got a week that you could still install the Creative Cloud and use it while you're trying to problem solve. Again, that would be contacting College Buys, I've given you the 800 number, and or contacting the help desk at the college. Contacting me will do you no good because I have no control over this program. Um, and the reason that I'm making this video is any of the other advice that I would give you is right here in the video. So once you understand that you can get the Creative Cloud installed on your computer and use it for a week for free, that you know that's kind of a nice feature, but it will stop working. The other thing is once you have the Creative Cloud installed, 
it doesn't install all the apps for you. What you will end up with is something that looks a little bit like this, probably up at the top of your computer. It's, it's Adobe's logo. And if you hover over it, if uh, hopefully you can see all the way to the top of my screen, it will say Creative Cloud. But then you click on that little icon like I did, and then you would update or, or install whatever application it is that you want. So for most of the classes I teach, you will need Photoshop and Illustrator. And if you're specifically in the 195 class, you will need InDesign as well. And the nice thing is when you've got Creative Cloud, you've got it. You've got access to everything. So if you want to mess around with Animate or uh, Premiere Pro for video, you can do that. If you like the bridge uh, system that links up the you know, especially the print-based programs like Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign, you've got that. But the key thing is you've got to follow the instructions and it starts with this PDF document that I have not only for you on the homepage, but you have to look for that email. Um, so, and just to reiterate, if you don't get the email and you try to do this, it's probably not going to work for you because if your name was provided to college buys, then the email should have gone out to you. So again, if you don't get the email, then you contact College Buys. They'll have a way of verifying you through the college. And make sure you stay on them. Don't let you know the whole week go by and not have the program uh, because it's not a valid excuse for not getting the homework done uh, either. If, if you can't get the, the thing done because you're not following up on it or you had it last semester and it stops working for you. I, I can't give you any leeway on the due dates uh, for those two things because that is part of your responsibility is to make sure you've got the software. All right, hope that works for you. And again, you've got two sources of help here.